In this video, I will be going over every single game that I have behind me on the shelves. And it has been requested by you guys that I do an updated video on all of my games, my physical game collection. It's probably gonna be a long video, so I'm gonna speed it a tiny bit up, but you're gonna be able to see every single physical game that I have down here. Maybe you will be finding some hidden gems for some systems. So we are going over the Nintendo DS, the 3DS, the Game Boy Advance. Let's see. <laughs> to think. Okay, so the Wii, the GameCube, the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PS Vita, limited editions, some N64, my shamefully small Wii U section, everything that is behind me that you have um, been wondering about because it's been like five years or something since last time I did a video of this sort, so it was about time. Also, there are some books and some guides and stuff. We're gonna go over everything. <laughs> I was trying to pause for a thumbnail and this happened. Okay, never mind that. Oopsie. We're starting with the Nintendo Switch. Okay. So we have Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Dragon Quest 11, Fire Emblem Warriors, Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I'm playing upstairs right now on the PlayStation, I mean. Smurfs, Little Dragon's Cafe, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Hyrule Warriors, Zelda Link's Awakening, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Astral Chain, I so want to replay that. Such a good game. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Atelier Lydia and Suel, Team Sonic Racing, Crash Team Racing, Shin Megami Tensei 5, Luigi's Mansion 3, <laughs> hard game. Pokemon Shield, which I lost my save file in. Still mad about that. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, Titan Quest, Super Mario RPG, quite a recent release, recent-ish. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, a signed copy of Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Are you able to get a hold of this one still? I remember it being limited. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, Victor, Ran, Harvest Moon, Light of Hope, Fire Emblem, and Gage. The Witcher 3 in a big box, Asher Lane Crosswave, Labyrinth of Refrain, Death End Request, Shining Resonance Refrain, everyone is refraining, Fate Stella the Umbral Star, and Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Okay, we're jumping to the next section. Okay, so now over to the Wii section. We have Animal Crossing, let's go to the city. My Sims Kingdom, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Paper Mario, Super Mario Galaxy. My first Wii game, Twilight Princess, Harvest Moon Magical Melody, I don't recommend it. Rune Factory Frontier. <laughs> I saw Josh's Gaming Garden stream this the other day. That was cool. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. Pandora's Tower, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Sack and Wiki, Quest for Barbaros Treasure. I never played that. Sonic Unleashed. Harvest Moon, Tree of Tranquility. Wii Sports, Zelda Skyward Sword. Epic Mickey, which is now being remade. That's kind of funny. Sonic Colors, Skylanders, Spyros Adventure. Mario Kart Wii, which actually came with a steering wheel. The Last Story, this is a hidden gem. Hidden gem alert. Goldeneye, this one is not mine. Probably Neighbor Stephens. WarioWare Smooth Moves. Now we are over to 3DS games, and I loved this system. So many good games on the 3DS. So we have Dragon Quest 7, Paper Mario Sticker Star, which I don't recommend, Mario Kart 7, you can probably hear my cats in the background. They're playing around in this room as I record. Zelda A Link Between Worlds, very nice. Pokemon X, The Sims 3 Pets, actual good. Monster Hunter Stories, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Luigi's Mansion 2, Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village, which I don't recommend. Oh my god, my cat's in the background. Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, this is a must have. Story of Seasons 3, Skylanders Spyros Adventure, Story of Seasons, Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Happy Home Designer, Tales of the Abyss, Bravely Second, and a gum, apparently, on my Mario and Luigi Paper Jam Brothers. Harvest Moon 3D, A New Beginning, Harvest Moon Tale of Two Towns, Mario and Luigi Dream Team Brothers, and Fantasy Life. And yeah, I'm gonna play the next Fantasy Life, okay? I loved this one, loved it. So perfectly fitting. 
so pretty. Look at Pandora's tower. Who do you think you are? Now let's put back the Switch games. I actually have enough for physical games. Digital all the way, right? From now on, I mean. Okay, so let's go over the PS Vita section. Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega Hard Girls. Hyper Dimension Neptunia U. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 1. Is Memories of Celsera. Child of Light. Ragnarok Odyssey. Japanese edition. Senran Kagura Festival versus Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3. Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2. Atelier Shali Plus. This one is really good. Hyper Devotion Noir. God Blackheart. I remember loving this game. Dungeon Hunter. Hidden gem, probably. Persona 4 Golden. Gotta have that. Disgaea 4. Final Fantasy 10 X and 10 2. Exist Archive. The Yak and Daxter Trilogy. Hyperdimension Neptunia Producing Perfection. And Mega Tag Mansion Blonde plus Neptune vs. Zombies. Now we have reached the PlayStation 4 section. And so we have Dragon Quest Heroes, Diablo 3, Dragon Quest Heroes 2, Cyber Dimension Neptunia 4 Goddesses Online, Horizon Zero Dawn, very good. The physical edition of Destiny 2, oh my god. Spyro Reignited Trilogy, East 8, Lacrimosa of Dana, thank you Reggie for forcing me to play that game. Cyberpunk, Knights of Asher 2, Nino Kuni 2. Knights of Asher 1, Witcher again, which I actually have in digital now, everywhere. Fallout 4, I also bought that again in digital. And Destiny 1 physical, oh my god, that's outdated now. Crash Bandicoot, insane trilogy, <laughs> another funny one. Final Fantasy 14, the MMO, wonder what's on that disc. Doom 2016, best game in the world. Guys, Death and Request again. I also have that on the Switch. Tales of Sisteria. <laughs> I play that so much. I played all of these games tons. Another uh, good old favorite, Dragon Quest Builders. So good. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. That was so super hard. Difficult game. Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 again on the PS4. I also have it on the Switch. Atelier Risa 2, very nice. Atelier Sophie, Atelier Fieris, Persona 5, Blue Reflection Second Light, Death and Request 2, Super Neptunia RPG, Nier Automata, Mary Skelter Finale, and Nier Replicant. I have too many physical games. These ones doesn't fit. I'm later going to order them properly, but right now I'm just making sure that I get everything for the video. Okay, let's start off with my shamefully small Wii U section. We have Zelda Twilight Princess, Assassin's Creed 3, Super Mario 3D World, Zelda Wind Waker, Mario Kart 8, Nintendo Land, also have Skylander Giants, Epic Mickey 2, and Xenoblade Chronicles X. This one needs to get ported to the Switch. Okay. Okay, we have now gotten to the GameCube games. We have Mario Kart Double Dash, Eternal Darkness, Super Smash Bros. Melee, F-Zero GX, which they need to make more F-Zero games. It's been a while. Spyro A Hero's Tale, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life, Soul Calibur 2, Zelda Wind Waker. This one is important, the Game Boy Player disc. Mario Party 5, Sonic Adventure to Battle, Baldur's Gate to Dark Alliance, actual good, Super Mario Sunshine, Star Fox Adventures, but I don't have more space. Actual good. Four Swords Adventures, good. The Sims busting out, and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which is coming to the Switch pretty soon. Good. Okay, over to Nintendo DS. We have Golden Sun, <laughs> Pokemon Soul Silver. This one is so good, actually. Dragon Quest Nine, Zelda Spirit Tracks remake needed, probably. Harvest Moon DS, not very good. Final Fantasy Three, Dragon Quest Six, New Super Mario Brothers, Pokemon Diamond version. Almost completed the Pokédex in this one. And Animal Crossing Wild World, my most played game on the DS. Floor Clipper DS version. I think this one is rare. I think. Heroes of Mana, Dragon Quest Monsters, Joker, Rune Factory 1, Super Princess Peach, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue Rescue Team, and Rune Factory 2 and Rune Factory 3, which I don't have the cartridge for. 
Okay, I'm going free cam. This section is the messy section. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. Okay, look what I did. I reorganized a tiny bit here. So <laughs> this is my random shelf now, from now on, because not everything fits. <laughs> Okay, so PS2 titles. I don't have many. This one, Dragon Quest Journey of the Cursed King. Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. Here I have King's Quest Collection. And this one is a good one. Cartoon Network Racing. Randomly another Wii game right here. Xenoblade Chronicles. And then we have gotten to my PS3 games. Tales of Exilia 2. Sonic Unleashed. A disc that I don't need anymore, let's just say. A Realm Reborn. Final Fantasy XIV, the MMO. I started playing that on the PS3. Oblivion. Gonna have that. Atelier, the Arlen Trilogy. Pretty good. Atelier Aisha. A collector's edition type of thing of uh, Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. This one is cool. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Collection of a lot of Genesis games. Call of Duty 3. Isha Man has childhood memories with this one. Hyperdimension Neptunia Hyper Collection. All of the first three Neptunia games. Rune Factory Oceans. This one is good. Another collection disc. Tales of Graces F and both of Tales of Symphonias. Here's my first game on the PS3. Ni no Kuni. My first Fallout game, Fallout New Vegas. This one is so good. Currently watching the show. Dragon Age Inquisition, <laughs> Hidden Gem, Lost, Call of Duty Ghosts, Assassin's Creed Heritage Collection. And the first Tales of Exilia. Now, apparently I have some more PS4 titles. We have Mother Gunship, Mass Effect Andromeda, The Disc of Elder Scrolls Online, Little Witch Nobera, and then I have two Xbox games, Valkyria Revolution and Scarlet Nexus. I bought this digitally on the PS5 as well. I don't really play on my Xbox anymore. Uh, and also, you know me, I like digital, whatever. Now we have reached PS5 games. Here is Smurfs too. I don't have a lot of physical games when it comes to the PS5. Kina, Bridge of Spirits, Immortals of Avia, Fairy Fencer F Refrain Chord, and Horizon Forbidden West. Now we have gotten to a random section and it's random because it doesn't fit in the other shelves. It's a whole thing. Here we have Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS, Dragon Quest VIII, Yokai Watch, Skylanders Giants. I mean, you can check out this video. I'm gonna put it on the screen. That was the last video I made about going back to the 3DS. Here we have Ever Oasis, Children of Mana, Pokemon Moon, and apparently a Bravely Second soundtrack. Oh, and another PS5 title, Wild Hearts. See no Blade Chronicles on the 3DS. Now here are my PS1 games, the few that I have. Donald Duck Quack Attack, so good. We have Doom on the PS1, The Lion King, Simba's Mighty Adventure, and here we have Heroes of Ruin, and apparently Pokemon Black. So that was the random shelves. And below that, of course, we have another random shelf, I don't know. A boxed complete Banjo-Kazooie, boxed complete Zelda Majora's Mask, Paper Mario, love it. And then I suppose we can go through my Game Boy Advance games. So we have Sonic Advance, Powerpuff Girls, Super Mario World, Kirby the Amazing Mirror, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. We have Pokemon Silver, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Now this one is well played, let's just say. A lot of these games, most of these games are so well played, oh my god. So we have Zelda Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island, Final Fantasy IV, maybe my favorite Final Fantasy game. It had a huge impact on me. My first Game Boy Advance game, Super Mario Advance. It was like in 2008 that I found both of these on a Norwegian website sealed. That was so lucky. And then we have Donkey Kong Country 2. <laughs> this video is a mess. Apparently I have two more uh, N64 games. We have Mario Kart 64 and of course Ocarina of Time putting it up there. Here's my very first Nintendo product ever, the Pokemon Pikachu, which I have here. Love it. And then we have my original Game Boy Advance box. Now we have gotten to Game Boy, all of the actual cartridges, and my new Game Boy Advance with a backlit screen. I'll talk about this in another video. Anyways, I don't think there's anything noteworthy in here except for I have some loose games that I don't have the actual box for, uh, like Pokemon Yellow, a bunch of other games, okay. And here I have that pin that I got from Food for Dogs. Casually sitting down here. Good. Oh, and the box from Game Boy Player. I think I'm gonna have that here. Maybe something like that. Okay, so next compartment. Limited edition games. Four Goddesses Online, limited edition. 
Hyper Dimension Neptunia U, Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 Limited Edition, Super Neptunia RPG Limited Edition, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 Limited Edition, Death and Request 1 Limited Edition, and Death and Request 2 Limited Edition. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I like how that fit smoothly. I mean, lol, but still. Anyways, we have Sakuna of Rise and Ruin Limited Edition. This one is a good one, okay? If you can still find this one, it's actually good. This is the second part of a limited edition of Mary Skelter. It has three books, like a big novel. And here we have the actual limited edition that this one came with. Mary Skelter Finale. Here is Neptunia Sisters vs. Sisters, the day one edition. Maybe I need to rearrange a bit. Yeah, that one works. The limited edition of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This one is a big one. The premium box of Atelier Risa 2. Good. Here we have the premium box of Blue Reflection Second Light. And then we have the collector's edition of A Realm Reborn. This one is pretty cool. The new 3DS. Xenoblade Chronicles edition. Little Witch Nobera. Fairy Fencer F. Refrain chord, really pretty. Then we have Rune Factory 4 Special and Rune Factory 5 Limited Editions. Not sure how to stack this exactly. Anyways, we have a Kingdom Hearts. I think it looks okay for now, right here. Okay, so now we have this messy shelf area. We have Zelda The Wind Waker Tales of Sisteria Collectors Edition. The Last Story. Yup. That was tight. Xenoblade Chronicles Wii Collector's Edition. Here we have the Club Nintendo Operation Rainfall coins. How much are these worth right now? I may be open to selling this. I decided to put Ishamans's games here. These are his games. I mean, except for that one. That one is mine. Now we have the last four compartments. These. Okay, so this one is pretty straightforward. We have magazines, Retro Gamer, and Gamer. Do you guys remember this magazine? These two magazines are good because they contain everything. All Mario, all Zelda, Deep Dive, published by Games Master. These two I recommend. More N Gamer magazines, the Nintendo official magazine. Here we have a magazine that I was collecting for a tiny bit, and it is Nintendo Force. Official hint guides for the first game that I played in my life. King's Quest 7. All of my copies of Switch Player and I am in one of these. There you go. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf Guide. A thousand and one video games you should play before you die. This one is actually good. Goes over a lot of games that you should play before you die. Hopefully. Okay, I have a copy of Flo Clippa PC game. And in these ones, I have the complete set of Nintendo. Club Nintendo Norwegian magazine. I can't be bothered opening, but I have a complete set. Now that was tight. Okay, so over here we have my books, art books and guidebooks. We have The Art of Fallout 4, Hyrule Historia, Link Between Worlds, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Guide, Twilight Princess Guide, The Pokedex. Oh yeah. Pokemon Black and White Guide, The Book of Games Volume 1, The Art of Bravely, Art of Exilia 2, Atelier Artwork of Our Land, good. Jack's Diary, Harvest Moon Nintendo 64. And then we have two guides of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Ages, two different publications. If one guide did it bad, I can always look in the other one. And then we have Nino Kuni Guide, really big guide. Good. Down here, I have like a knife for opening packages, probably. The fixture gaming where I am on it. Uh, you can still get this. Link down below, I guess. Pokemon X and Y. The two art books of Rune Factory. Everything Rune Factory. Look. You get this one in the limited edition of Rune Factory 4 and this one in the limited edition of Rune Factory 5. A DVD, Atelier Esco and Logi, the anime. Oh, my YouTube letter. <laughs> Congrats. Some of the drawings that I've gotten. Just a few of them. I have another place for more of them. My old script books. This is the cover that I pose with on the buy or not thumbnails. I actually pose with this one, so that's like a hidden feature. Some unused books that I will be using pretty soon. Rune Factory Oceans, I painted that one. A Pokeball. Slime. Uh, I'm gonna clean up a tiny bit and I'll be back. 
Anyways, guys, that was all. That was all of my physical games, my guide books, my art books, everything that I have behind me. And if you think that something is missing, it is because I have given away games over the years. I've been lending out games and I've been selling games. So if you think that I had a game previously that I don't have anymore, that is the reason. Also, I am not a collector. I just happen to have games that I bought throughout the years of my life because I wanted to play them and because I wanted a game for Christmas or birthday growing up so I'm not really a collector for the sake of collecting this just sort of happened now thank you so much for watching this video I hope you found it entertaining and if you did hit like down below and please subscribe if you are new thank you so much for watching and I will see you later